Welcome back to Open Your Eyes on this cool Friday morning. Did we say cool? It's know. a hot one. It is cool a hot in one. Here. <laughs> yes, it is cool in here. But nonetheless, it is a historic moment for our country. Reason being is because we've got that beer in our country that actually is uh, celebrating 50, its 50th anniversary. That's Bellikin celebrating its 50th anniversary. And we've got none other than Nolan Michael, who is a brewmaster. You make it. <laughs> <laughs> Manufacturing uh, operate, Operations Director at Bone and Bone to tell us more about it. Nolan, good morning. It's so nice to see you and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, this is definitely uh, a big time for our country. And the yes. reason why I'm saying this is because we've got the beer of Belize in with us and uh, 50 years. Yes. I would like, firstly, would say congratulations Thank to you. you. Thank you. Congratulations to everybody, to, uh, to the entire team. To the entire yeah. team, uh, to BNB. Let's, let's get the historical facts of this Belican beer. Well, once again, thank you very much for having us. This is a momentous occasion yeah. for uh, the entire company, the entire Belize Brewing Company. Um, we have been planning this for uh, well over a year yeah. now, and yeah. it's finally here. May 29th was the actual, May 29th, 1969 was the day that uh, uh, Belize Brewing Company was founded. Um, and so our anniversary was earlier this week and so we... That was when the first Pelican yes. opened, yeah. the official beer first, that will go on the market. <laughs> first started in company <laughs> incorporated, first started everything. Uh, it was a very, it, there was always this perception that uh, we started out as a large grand company, but it was certainly nothing like that at all. Yeah. It was actually a joint venture that was started between uh, Belize Brewing Company and Cerveceria Honderania. We had commissioned um, some studies. Mm -hmm. uh, Sir Barry Bowen and Eric Bowen, his father, mm -hmm. commissioned some studies as to whether to open a brewery here in Belize and every, all the results were yeah. negative. Yeah. You're gonna be crushed, Belize is too small. Yeah, no, I'm trying to imagine anything. what the population may have been 50 years ago. About 100, uh, what is it, about 120,000 at the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, it was, nothing was going to happen. There was no interest in participating financially. Yeah. We finally approached, uh, they approached uh, Cerveceria Honduranea, which was a friend, and actually Cerveceria Honduranea decided just based on their enthusiasm to invest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they did, and their investment was providing the equipment uh, to start the brewery. A 51% stake in the brewery at that time was owned wow. by for Cerveceria Honduranea. Even though it was 1969, you can see some of that. It, they, that equipment was actually made in 1927. <laughs> it wasn't even, we got it second so got, hand I was from them. I going to say, you got yeah. the retired ones. The yes. old cool what we get, right? <laughs> yes. 1927, the second hand. And we later found out recently that it wasn't even second hand. It was likely to be third or yeah. fourth hand. Uh -huh. And uh, that's what we started making beer on. We only bought like one piece of new equipment, which yeah. Was, which is like a legendary story that exploded upon the first <laughs> installation and commissioning. So, so who was the first brewmaster? The first brewmaster, oh my, yeah, this is going to, yes, uh, the, we initiate, Sir Barry Bowen liked uh, German style beers uh -huh. and as such, he employed German style, uh, German brewmasters to make a German style Pilsner, which is what Belgian is. I can try I, the pronunciation <laughs> of the names. I don't want to offend anyone, but they were German, and it continued in that German tradition for for decades. Yeah. Um, being the guiding uh, uh, technical knowledge yeah. in our brew house for quite some time, they we went. It's actually been about ten. I can Mr. Reinhardt Harp, Harp Emmerich Seleski. Um, uh, Alfred Toffel, I can try with some of them. <laughs> I am trying to produce, I hope I don't, but we owe thanks and gratitude to, the, yeah. to those um, gentlemen yeah. as well too uh, from the time. Yeah. So it's been, a, it's been a one tremendous ride, something yeah. that we're all excited about. Yeah. What was, what was uh, how, how many beers were produced the first time around? Well, the first time around the initial launch was only with uh, Bellican Beer. Yeah. beer. There was a naming contest at the time to name the brand and someone submitted the uh, name Belikin, which was gateway to the e which means it's a Mayan word which means gateway to the east or towards the sea. Yeah. And that was the winning name. 
At the same time, we made what, we, what is now referred to as the Belikin Monument, which is a trademark Mayan mm -hmm. uh, temple, which became trademark. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, that's a little bit of the initial background. It's yeah. Alton Ha? Is, it's like a, a version of Alton Ha? That's what no, I've always every, that's a legendary. That, right? yeah. No, that's a that's so a legendary story. Myth yes, officially, it's not I am ha. officially dispelling that it is not it's Altona. Not. <laughs> um, it's an um, it's an artist amalgamation of mm, of what he thinks the all the major Mayan temples are mm. in Belize. Um, it is illegal to trademark any national monument yeah. Yeah. of Belize, and as such. It could never have been <laughs> Alton Ha. It's an artist depiction. <laughs> yes, it's an artist depiction. Yeah, so later on in, mm -hmm. in 1971, then we uh, um, uh, launched Belkin Stout, which became highly popular, just like the Belkin beer. Mm -hmm. And in 1977, uh, Eric Bowen decided to retire from the company, and his son, Sir Barry Bowen, bought out the shares of, uh, well, uh, b uh, bought his shares in, his, mm -hmm. in the Belize Brewing Company. Yeah. Uh, at that time, Cerveceria Hondurania was still the majority owner at 51%. Mm -hmm. uh, later on in 1981, coinci uh, to Coin coincide with, with the independence, independence of the country of Belize, Sir Barry Bowen bought out the shares of Cerveceria Hondurania. And it, at that time, it's when it became a solely owned family uh, company, Belizean company, completely Belizean company. I remember that logo. Yeah. We yes. also see the logo changes over time, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We hope progressively better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. People tend to be nostalgic, you know. Yes. They don't want to let go of those brands. Yeah. Completely <laughs> understandable. Mm -hmm. And a little bit later on, uh, company continued to grow, um, com continued to employ Belizeans uh, uh, throughout the entire country, not just in our manufacturing operation. And in 1989, um, we acquired the rights to brew Guinness here in Belize. A lot of people do not know this, but Guinness, the Guinness is actually made here. It is not imported or anything like that. Yeah. Well, imported from Ladyville, as <laughs> we say with the, uh, with the lighthouse. Shade of the Ladyville. Yes, <laughs> but we've been brewing Guinness here for Same. quite some time, yeah. for Since some decades. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Then in 95. Uh, yep, new look. but. Um, changed the uh, label design, okay. uh, incorporated some features of a barrel onto the design and uh, started out with a new bottle at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia, right. some of the changes. Yeah. If, All right. So yeah. in 2000? In 2000, remember that old brewery from 1927 that I told you all about? Mm -hmm. We were brewing beer in that up until the year 2000. Um, almost close to 80 years that piece, piece of, uh, pieces of equipment last. Mm -hmm. And in the year 2000, we opened our new state-of-the-art uh, brewery, yeah. brewing mm -hmm. facility. It is still one of the most state-of-the-art brewing facilities in all of Central America and the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, once that recipe is programmed, one man can sit from the computer station, hit execute, and everything is automated and uh, uh, all the way to the delivery, delivery of the final liquid. Wow. It is, it is a special place to be at. Um, it's like our own temple yeah. uh, <laughs> of the business. It's beautiful operations. Yeah. Lots of polished stainless steel, lots of shiny objects. Uh -huh. um, but it's and you do tours, people can go. Yes, we do accept on special requests. The, yeah. the area is not um, um, really uh, set up to um, to do tours properly, mm -hmm. so we do have a, a system of uh, special guests where we do show them, especially technical uh, customers, um, some of the uh, education. Uh, some of the universities are looking for are interested. What technology does Belize right. have? They don't yeah. believe that we are operating, that anyone is operating this level of technology. We are computer software controls and entire manufacturing facility. A very large manufacturing so facility. So we do uh, mm -hmm. tend to give them uh, some time within the facility and show them around. Yeah. yeah. Yep. One of the things that, 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 that uh, strikes home for me is whenever you're around the place, whenever you go around, people would ask, hmm, what, what's up with Lighthouse? And how long ago did we get Lighthouse in? And mm -hmm. so to see 2003, that's really, yes. really, uh, you know, it, it really comes to you, yeah. you know? So tell us about the Lighthouse and tell us about how this one was Lighthouse, of course, light. it's like, well, we've had many seasonals since, but in the long standing uh, on top, it's like the baby of the bunch. Mm -hmm. um, 
people were of uh, Belican and the Stout and Guineas are high flavor, mm -hmm. um, rich body and so forth. And even from then, some people were asking for a lighter beer. Lighthouse is not a light beer. I was just about yeah. to ask. But it does have a lighter body and flavor than um, the traditional Belican and the Belican Stout. Can you, t can you uh, distinguish between, because this is a lager, it says Lighthouse yes. Lager. Yes. Can you distinguish between a, li a, li a lager and a Pilsner? The, the uh, Pilsner is made with lager yeast, but there are specific cri criteria for a Pilsner in terms of alcohol, uh, bitterness, um, uh, bitterness units which comes from hops. There's mm -hmm. special types of hops and you have to brew to certain targets in it. Mm -hmm. the, the Lighthouse is, a, is an American style lager which carries its own set of criteria yeah. as well for alcohol content, um, bitterness units, uh, flavor profile, mm -hmm. residual extract, uh, nose and flavor aroma. So they're both lagers in the sense that we make them, but they're completely in a set of a complete different set of parameters. So one's German style and one's American style. Yes. Mm. Yes. All right. And uh, it definitely became a favorite. Yes. From the moment oh, yes. it was out. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, that green bottle um, has now become synonymous with the portfolio. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It looks pretty in the sun on the beach. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> so what else do we have? Yeah. Uh, and later in um, in 2010, tragically, uh, Sir Barry Bowen passed away, and he was a great mentor, great entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and the company transitioned to our new CEO, uh, Mr. Michael Bowen. Mm -hmm. At that particular time, we weren't necessarily investing in the beverage business. Uh, our new CEO redirected that um, uh, the portfolio or investment portfolio or strategy. Mm -hmm. And through his vision and through his leadership, uh, we transitioned into a whole new dynamic phase yeah. of uh, in the beverage um, industry, as you will see in the news slides, Ooh. things started uh, flowing. Happening a lot yeah. more rapidly. Yes, yes yeah. things started happening more, happening, uh, more rapidly. Um, in 2011, we imagine immediately started launching seasonal brews. Yeah. Uh, this Two main popular ones at that time were chocolate stout, and that became popular chocolate stout and Sorrel stout. stout. Um, to this day, uh, I get so much pressure and yell that <laughs> so much. I get customers telling me the chocolate stout not even meet, made, made it into my neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, they don't. The Sorrel not make it into my Were neighborhood. Were only these two seasonals? I'm trying to no, there's, uh, there's more. Yeah. We did more. Um, the, we had a Galaxy, we had a Verano. Um, some of them yeah, weren't as popular right. as the chocolate and the sorrel, so they became yeah. a little bit difficult to reproduce based on our brewing volume. Yeah. Yeah. And so a lot of them are not recurrent on the yeah. portfolio. Mm -hmm. And we added some subsequently to this, mm -hmm. which you'll see a little bit later. Uh -huh. And again, keeping with the theme of changing the look, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is the best looking one. Because <laughs> you had input in this one. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, during that time from 2010, we, we changed out, we changed out, it's not just the, the brewery, we uh -huh. bought complete, almost a completely new bottling line, a new mm -hmm. bottle washer, um, new automated labeler, uh, in automatic empty bottle inspector, a new filler, Mm -hmm. um, many new additions as well too were added to our production line which gave us the capacity to apply labels rather than having a, a label that is permanent yeah, and getting printed, scratched yeah. up and yeah. so every every bottle is with a new label on it um, and uh, that continued to progress in 2016 um, the Heineken group became our partners uh, we became distributors of uh, Heineken, Red Stripe and Amstel Bright which just added to the portfolio so that cooler in a store became even more packed with, <laughs> with options. Yes. Yep. And then we move on to... Uh -huh. yep. 2016 as well too, we acquired the rights to, uh, from Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bill to Margaritaville uh, to brew a land shark lager yeah. in a clear bottle. And I mean, this one is another super hit. Yeah? Uh, yes, oh, th this is tremendous Tell hit. people like light like beer. Yeah, yeah. tremendous hit. This one, this you one gotta be careful when it's, it's, it's a little bit light in flavor, but a lot of people don't realize this. This is packing 4.9% percent alcohol. A step up from so, the, yeah. yes. so it's more than the lighthouse. Yes, more than. But the, less than the beer. No, it's, no in, in terms, it's a, yeah, in terms it's a little of bit the, higher than the beer. Volume. 
Really? It's, it's a little bit higher than Belican beer, but less, yes. less than... So what does, what's the alcohol content of Belican beer? 4.7. Yes. Wow. Okay. And that's a 4.9. Yeah, that's a, like, a 4.9. And so that's a lot of like people don't expect it's fucking a little bit of a... That's why you uh, should read your kick. labels. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Instructions before you pull out the test. <laughs> yes. So, so in 2017... In 2017, we... Kept on getting asked for it. We introduced a true light bear for the active lights lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do does this light mean? This light means something light means, different. Yes, that light means a reduction in calorie content. This is that bottle is about thirty to thirty-five calories less per ser per bottle than the flagship Belkin. We are we're using the same Belkin flavor, mm -hmm. uh, but reducing the calorie content. Of course, that's a delicate balancing act in trying to rem uh, to to make something remain taste mm -hmm. tasty mm -hmm. and taking out some calories. But we think we did a fabulous job on it, and it is certainly appreciated by those who live an active lifestyle and are counting calories on a daily basis. Oh, so when we, when we say uh, an active lifestyle, what do we mean? We mean people who would go to the gym, who would want to hang out with their friends, who are drinking uh, the flagship, but at the same time are watching the calorie balance and, yeah. and then w but at the same time still hang out. Is that what we're talking about? Well, uh, living a healthy lifestyle is something that everybody is, is con a lot of people are conscious of these days mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people are counting calories and checking calories and so forth. And we just wanted to have something in your in yeah. the portfolio that they feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some person, some people might be playing football and said, man, but I just exercise. I don't want to consume 10 beers and um, and so forth. So we gave them an option like, yeah. hey, you cannot is feel guilty. Is this the guilty. lowest calorie option that you have? Yes, okay. that is the lowest calorie uh, option. It's less, it's actually less calories per volume than a lighthouse, of course. Okay. okay. Wow. All right. And so in 2018, 2018, another one, another super hit, <laughs> Belkin Black and Tan. I think I am not sure if we came here because I always yeah. promised yes, you that yes, you would get the first launch. First, yeah. uh, launch <laughs> we tried it here. Yeah, yes, right we tried here. it here. Uh, and that is another super hit. Mm -hmm. I am getting yelled at about that particular one because we didn't make enough and it's only confined to yeah. the month of uh, October. I take blue body blowers <laughs> up and down <laughs> every day people, on that people one. People are fearful of going back to, to the traditional roots, which is you made it on your own. Yeah. yeah. No, I will. I think I think we improved on that quite a bit uh, with finding that middle ground. So you don't have to be measuring. We did it for you. So while while you're the brewmaster, you know, yeah. you're the guy with with the with the knowledge of how to get these things dealt with. Mm -hmm. What's what's a black and tan? How 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 do well, you put this together? It would be considered a, a dark amber. Um, what we did in terms of writing the recipe, that one was one of the easiest ones. Okay. Because we did, we uh, all we did was take all of the characteristics of Belkin Stout and all of the characteristics of Belkin beer and targeted everything directly in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, and we write, we wrote out the formulas in terms of the use of the malt and hops and everything yeah. else to coincide with that. Yeah. And I will say this: this is one uh, that one came out even better than what I thought it would. <laughs> uh, it was targeted to be a dark amber, but on the first taste, on the first batch, when I, I like. I, I'm like, wow, what? this mm -hmm. is, this is excellent. This yeah. is but you know, point. we're usually hard on our own work, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Hard, on, yeah. yes. hard on myself. But Nolan, you, you missed a, a very critical element there. And I know uh, here as Brewmaster, I think uh, one of the achievements that uh, Bowen and Bowen had always spoke about was being able to have a Belizean Brewmaster mm -hmm. yes. as well. Um, so you've been at the helm for how long now? Uh, actually, I just... I, I don't want to sound like I'm, but I just found out that I am now the longest tenured stretch wow. for Belize Belize Brewing Company. I've been seven years now. Yeah. And, and you were the master. first Belizean. Yes, yes, and the first Belizean. We were continuing in the traditional German brewing style. Yeah. And that I must give credit and thanks to the um, to the executive, uh, to Michael Bowen, yeah. and the entire team for entrusting yeah. that in me. It's like getting entrusted with the the temple and mm -hmm. this, <laughs> the sanctuary of yeah. the group and it has been an honor and a privilege to serve in that yeah. capacity yeah. Uh, for Belize Brewing Company. Especially Had to be a 50. lot of pressure. Yes, it was. Yeah. I, I, I will add, there, were, there, there were many sleepless, sleepless nights, um, head on the pillow and nothing all you see is beer spinning on a bottling <laughs> line the entire time <laughs> and how to make the beer spin yeah. on a bottling line even yeah. faster. So formulas. Yeah. Yes, formulas. Yeah, that's, all. that's all my brain was. It was a lot of pressure. Um, yeah. 
uh, especially early on in it, um, you always see, you look on that wall of all the famed mm -hmm. German yeah. uh, brewmasters uh, and you're like, man, I hope I can live up to this and I hope I can keep up the excellent tradition of Belize Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. And we have, not just myself, but the entire team, yeah. I must give them credit. We have some spectacular brewers at, uh, in the organization, supervisors, technicians, um, everybody, quality control people, spectacular. They're like the backup right now. Mm -hmm. I practically, they, they are on top of their game. They are as good as it gets right now. I am so pleased and yeah. happy to be working with them. It becomes so much more personal though, too, yes. because you interact with Belizeans and yeah. you hear all the uh, concerns, whether they're coming to you directly about mm -hmm. not having enough of a yeah. seasonal or why don't you make this or make that. Mm. Um, you know, I think growing up, obviously, you would have drunk the liquid beer <laughs> anyway. Yes. Um, you know, thinking of, of having put your own um, contribution towards this product to mm. in in its 50 year journey mm -hmm. what does that represent for you that well just like you mentioned Belkin is a beer that I uh, first Usually beer I tasted beer. I will not confess on here at what age that is Somewhere I think my parents says, school, let's yes, be I have not, I have my parents <laughs> my parents actually <laughs> might be looking at this right yeah, now uh, and, uh, <laughs> they might be looking at this right now but um, the uh, yes, it's it's been a part of m who we are growing up. Yeah. Belkin has been there for every single event for everybody in the entire country. Yeah. Um, whether they're celebrating, whether they're um, relaxing, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. yeah. um, this is it's an iconic Belizean brand. Mm -hmm. It's synonymous with synonymous with the country of Belize. With anything you ask anybody, what what's be what's Belize to you? A lot of people mention Belkin, mm -hmm. and so that having that expectation that Anna, I, I have tried to infuse like in my personal try to bring that sense of pride in everything we do mm -hmm. with uh, this particular product i'm trying to incorporate more belizean ingredients we have a whole lineup i promise you the last time i got a lineup even for the rest I of the know, year last time you're here you said the yeah. new one was coming yes. soon and yes and this kind of took over but, um, <laughs> all of that but i had not i am bottle. still yes, no no I'm, i am still committed to um coming with uh, a few things before the end of the year. Yeah. We're working on some big things. Yeah. Um, I always have to keep my mouth. The, my uh, our creative team always <laughs> warns me, don't let it all out of the bag so early. <laughs> let us have the big bang. So, but we are working on some special things. You know, I can remember the last time having a conversation with Marlene. I almost took yes, it out of yours to what was coming yes, up next. But yes, no, like, uh, you, it. you as the brewmaster, uh, at this particular point, we want to give you the. Uh, the ability to showcase to Belize the gold Belican uh, celebrating 50 years. So this is your opportunity. Yes. And uh, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> this is our commemorative <laughs> gold My Belican goodness. bottle. Yeah. Um, celebrating our 50 years in Belize. Um, it will be, it has already uh, been distributed to all of our staff are getting a commem commemorative bottles. Mm -hmm. um, our customers are getting a celebratory um, bottle. Mm -hmm. um, it will be out, um, uh, not for general sale, but you will be seeing it all around. So In addition to that, we're changing the label on the, uh -huh. um, on our actual bottle to a commemorative 50 uh, 50th anniversary label. Yeah. Uh, the rest of this month, for an entire month, for the entire, like the rest of June, yeah. there will be celebrations taking place all over the country. Yeah. This will be extremely exciting, culminating with a event on June 22nd for all our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, invitations for those are going out as we speak. Uh, suppliers, uh, media. I mm -hmm. certainly hope that uh, we will see you there. Yes. yes. Um, <laughs> so, a uh, little bit of a plug, and there will be public uh, events. We're having a. Um, I don't know if we can say it, but yes, uh, we can. Yes, June twenty second. Um, there will be an activation in uh, BTL Park. Mm -hmm. There will be fireworks, um, everything. So yeah. we want everybody to come out celebrate with us. This is a monumental achievement for mm -hmm. a little company that started out where no yeah. one believed it would be successful to now being the largest, one of the largest companies in the entire country of Belize. Yeah, definitely. You're right. Oh, uh, what a way to do it with a gold bottle of beer. Yes. Yes, so let's be clear. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find it in your supermarket. No, these will ones. Is, this is for... Uh, these are like specialty gift items that we will be distributing 
all over. But Special what you will gift. find in the supermarket is gold cap with yes, gold the 50th crown, yes, 50 with the 50th year label. label. Yes. yes. Yep. This is that beautiful. Is it real gold? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what people ask you all the um, time. <laughs> we're, set, we're doing a tremendous celebration, but I don't think our celebration <laughs> is that big. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what I could sell for. <laughs> and and, and just, just, to, just to put a plug in. Um, uh, Maybe the shining up here. Yes, this, this, this. <laughs> He's going to put that on his mantle. <laughs> yes. So look at that. Just to put in a plug here, though. Um, at selected, not necessarily selected areas, but there'll be areas where um, there'll be um, six packs of Belkin on uh, on sale. You buy a bucket of Belkin and you get a goal. Mm. Uh, so oh. that, that will be also, yes. members of the public will be able to get a gold bottle. Mm. All they need to do is to go to their favorite spot and buy a, buy a bucket of beer. And in, within that bucket of beer, there'll be a gold beer in there, a gold bottle in there for you. So, you yes. know, it, 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 there's a lot when it comes to the celebration. And between the month, like you mentioned, between the months of Ju June and July, There'll be Belkin 50th anniversary celebrations countrywide. All mm. over. We are, we are excited. We are, this, is, this is going to be a big well, two a months big for us. Yes, it's a big I birthday mean, party. And I mean, this party. is like the biggest party item there is. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and hook you up, and hook you up, <laughs> making sure you're up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, uh, these are beautiful. They, they are, are beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I can imagine people uh, on the hunt for the gold bottle now. Uh, uh, I think this how has many been calls have you gotten so far for the gold uh, bottle? My, my phone is turned off <laughs> from since <laughs> it was leaked a little bit on social media, mm. and I put my phone on, on mute. Uh, um, I'm not answering a chat. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Anybody sending a text with that, I am trying. Uh, well, uh, subsequent when we have done all of the media launches, especially with you, yeah. um, I will certainly make. We will certainly be just like um, John mentioned. We yeah. will be all over the country. Yeah. Uh, it's not for sale, but we will be in activations like yeah. that, um, giving it to customers. We know yeah. people are out there uh, wanting it, and it's uh, something to. Place on a mantle. And it people does have, have all the collections. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You were saying it does have. It does have actual beer in it. It's not <laughs> just a bottle. It has actual beer in it. But uh, I don't know how much I would want to open and drink <laughs> what is in it and keep it <laughs> instead of keeping it on the shelf. I mean, right. it looks so great to be drinking from a gold bottle, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> wow. So uh, this is. Uh, an item, and as you said before, people will, people from the public will have access to it. Yep. Um, they just have to look out for the different events, uh, yes. the celebration events for the 50th mm -hmm. anniversary. There yep. is a there is a page uh, for Belkin that is called Weapon the Knock. Yes. Mm -hmm. And where uh, when you log on to that, it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, it's on every social media platform. Whenever you whenever you find that. Yep. It will tell you exactly where you can go to get one of those. One of those no? yeah. So it's, you know, it, it's definitely something to look forward to. As a matter of fact, tonight at the um, NEBL finals, yes. uh, there'll be some of these that will be given away. So if you could shoot a three-pointer, <laughs> then you might be able to get one of these, <laughs> we got one of these bottles today. I would encourage not... Sh I was going to say, drink yes. your beer after. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You might be off a little bit, but... Uh, drink but your beer after. Yes. 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 <laughs> I, I will, we, we do always remind, please, drink it's... Necessary to drink and yeah. consume responsibility, responsibly. We yeah. don't encourage any type of uh, consumption yeah. while operating vehicles, cars, boats, anything yeah. like that. Um, and make sure you are of legal age. Yeah. This is not. Uh, this is something that we feel, feel is an important part of our social uh, responsibility. Responsibility. Uh, we do a lot of educational campaigns with yeah. bar owners on that, and we want to make sure that. While we're celebrating, we're celebrating responsibly. All right. So the birthday party is June 22nd, mm -hmm. BTL Park. Mm -hmm. no, well, that, that's just one. That's, yeah. that's, that's just one. But that's the first, the big one. What is <laughs> no, it? It's, uh, it's all there. there uh, I, I don't want to plug our social media <laughs> sites, but please log on to the social media sites. You will see listings of events uh -huh. all over there. Multiple. This is one. This is one of those birthday parties that doesn't have one day. It is, is well, any good every day. Well, then a good weekend celebrates their birthday yes. for one month. At exactly. 50, I think you can yeah. get more than we're, one, we're right? Extending a bit, we're extending a bit beyond it. But wow, there, man. There are events all over. I only mentioned a couple of those ones, yeah. but we are. But there will be events all over the country, birthday parties all over the country. We're, yeah. we're very excited about it. All right. All right. Well, Nolan, thank you so very much. Um, yes. We definitely are celebrating for 50 
and we're looking forward to that hundredth one <laughs> as well. Mm. <laughs> you uh, with the uh, big yeah, brew master. Uh, well, wow, wow, that's uh, you're putting a excess <laughs> pressure on me, you know. I'm not sure about that. Oh, it was a nice time celebrating. Congratulations yes, uh, thank you. to the company and to everybody who works there as well. Yes. Um, you know, uh, a company is as good as the team uh, that they yes. manage, and so. Uh, we want to say congratulations to everyone there at Belize Brewing Company um, on this great achievement, right? Thank you. And for joining us, uh, for allowing us to join in the celebration as well. Thank you. We <laughs> hope all Belizeans do. Yeah. Thank right. you, and thank, thank you very much for having us. All right. We're going to go ahead and take a break now, and when we come back, it's for Grace Flava with a Beat. So stay tuned.